Hey guys, Kira here from 50 Shades of Mom, back to share another recipe with you on Saute Saturday. I know usually I do like a big intro and everything, but mommy life is not allowing that today. I have the kids with Jacob for probably all what will be five minutes, just so I can go over these ingredients with you guys in peace and quiet. And then the rest of this is going to be the music because they are not even giving this mommy a moment to breathe today. But I am going to share with you guys a recipe for stuffed meatballs. Now you guys can do this with any meat you want. I normally prefer ground beef for this recipe, but we just haven't done chicken meatballs in a really long time and the guys are craving them. So that's what we're having this time. But you can use either ground beef, ground chicken, even ground turkey works in this recipe. And for the actual meatballs, you're going to need some ground chicken, an egg, some Parmesan cheese, some milk, some breadcrumbs, some onion, some garlic, and some basil. And then that's all you're going to need. You're just going to the actual instructions and all the ingredients will be typed out in the description box below. But once we just add all of those ingredients to a bowl together and mix them up, that's the meatball mixture. And then we're gonna cut up some of these fresh mozzarella cheese sticks. I got them from Trader Joe's. I'm just gonna take the stick and cut them up into little pieces and I'm gonna put a piece inside of the meatball. Now, I do personally prefer my meatballs fried, although I know that's not the healthier version, but being that I said I don't even have a free moment without kids today, I really don't want them clinging on me while I'm frying at the stove. So today we're going to be baking them. Now, I bake my meatballs all the time. Here's the only downside. If you're using ground beef, there's no reason to ever add anything else. There's enough fat in ground beef, especially if you use 80, 20 or below, there's enough fat in there to just cook them and keep them moist when baking them in the oven. But being that we're using chicken, and if you even did turkey, that's more of a leaner, dry meat, and they usually need to be fried just to kind of contain that moisture. But being that we're not frying them, I'm just gonna take a little extra virgin olive oil and I'm gonna baste them on top of the meatball before we pop them in the oven, just to retain a little bit more fat, like I said, and keep them moist. So that's it for the meatballs, and once they bake, I'm going to take them out and put them on this loaf of bread. So if I were to be baking these meatballs for pasta night, I probably would put them in the oven about 25 minutes, but we're only going to bake them at 350 for 15 minutes because they're going to bake on this bread for another 10 minutes. So once they come out of the oven and they're all cheesy, gooey, and yummy, we're going to put them sliced and kind of smushed on this loaf of everything French bread. I get this from Walmart. I love it. It's my favorite. We're going to top it with some tomato basil sauce. Now this is the pasta sauce that I get from all these. I absolutely love it and it's great for nights like this in a pinch when I'm not going to stand at the stove all day and make a fresh pot of sauce and mama doesn't even have any frozen in the freezer. So I have to get on that. But in nights like this when I need sauce, this is a great alternative. So I'll pull this and put this on top and then I am going to layer just a little bit of pepperoni. I wouldn't normally do that. Um, but we do have some pepperoni in the house and it's just to kind of add a little bit more of that zesty and more pork flavor since we are using lean chicken for the actual meatball. And then we're just going to sprinkle just a little bit of shredded mozzarella on top just to make it more of a parm and we're going to put it back in the oven and bake it for 10 minutes and then once it comes out I'm going to slice it up and we'll have it tonight aside some salad. So
guys so here it is all toasty and yummy and warm and cheesy out of the oven now I did end up going in after about three minutes and taking the lid off just because I don't like the lid to get too crispy and the guys don't like it either so it was a nice toast to the spread but it's not like overwhelming um, so now that it's nice and warm I'm gonna put the top back on I'm gonna slice this up and then I'll be back to plate it for you okay guys so here it is all plated up cut a big old slice so you could see like the piece of mozzarella that's like right there that's from the inside of the meatball and it's layered so nicely it's so deliciously yummy here let me show you a piece from inside of the sandwich so absolutely delicious i mean obviously you don't have to put those on bread you can put those over spaghetti drop them in a sauce whatever you want to do but we're having this tonight with leftover rigatoni pasta that we had last night for dinner and just a little side caesar salad from trader joe's i love their caesar salad kit and that's what we're having for dinner. So I'm gonna go sit and eat with my family while this is still hot and cheesy and gooey because there's no other way to eat a meatball parm sub than ooey and gooey. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'll help you take the time to subscribe. Saute Saturday is every other Saturday, plus there's so many food-related things on this channel. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.